Do you work out mostly alone or with a group? I work out mostly alone. Are you like a loner? Because <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I mean, like, is it is it because you just don't want to work out with other people, or is it just like, do you have a goal that gets you there? Yeah. yeah. So I enjoy working out with other people, but I do have a specific goal that kind of forces me to do most of my training by myself. Let's talk a little bit about whether it's better to work out alone mm -hmm. with a group or some sort of mixture of both. Mm -hmm. tell, tell me a little bit more about like you training alone mostly because you have a specific goal, yes. right? Yeah, and you don't have other people around you that are going for that goal. Yeah, so I get to listen to whatever I want true crime podcast generally <laughs> while I'm lifting. My husband thinks it's crazy. Um, and then I get to go at my own pace. Yeah, I think a lot of people choose to work out alone mainly for the flexibility. Yeah. Like you can do it whenever you want. Like you don't have to, you know, work around other people's schedules. Yeah. And, you know, if you go at the right time, you don't have to fight for equipment <gasps> and stuff like that, yeah. right? So I think that's a major benefit of working out by yourself, yeah. right? The other thing is like, you don't have anybody else that you're relying on to show up. Yeah. Right? So if you're disciplined, you can you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Any other benefits to working out by yourself? <sighs> that's that's about it. I mean, <laughs> just, just okay. kind of having your own time to yourself, I guess, to lift at your own pace or do the workout at your own pace. No coach yelling at you to go faster or go harder. Yeah. Which could be a pro or a con. So what are the benefits of working out with a group? I mean, I, I personally prefer working out with a group when I can. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the benefits of working out with a group, because you said you like to work out with a group, yeah? Yeah, uh, motivation. So someone suffering with you. Yeah. Um, most of the time I work out with other people, it's because I probably would not have done the workout otherwise. Yeah. And honestly, like, there's a group who comes in at two o'clock and if I'm not ready to go with them the time they start the workout, then I probably won't do it at all because I just, there's some things I just don't feel like doing by myself. Even if you're kind of working out around other people, mm -hmm. it can be motivating. Like even if they're doing something completely different, yeah. it's just like, yeah, they're lifting and I'm also lifting. Oh, they're sweating a little bit. I'm going to start sweating. Maybe I'm not working hard enough. Right. Yeah. And that like, I found that when I would go to like uh, a regular gym, it's like, Sometimes just hanging around other people doing stuff kind of motivates you. It's also nice to have uh, a group where you're just told what to do. Yes. Yeah. Where you don't have to like, you know, motivate yourself after every time you, you know, stop to watch a, a touchdown or something. Even something like warming up. Yeah. You know, like when I'm at home, I have to get myself to warm up. I have to walk through the steps. It's nice to just yeah. have a coach say, you know, grab a band or do whatever. If you can have the right group, of motivated people and they tell you to do the right things, it can be like, you know, a 10X result yeah. versus doing it by yourself. I actually think a, a combination of both is, is what will work the best. Really the main key is that you show up consistently, yes. right? And if going by yourself makes you show up more often, then do it. If working in a class makes you show up more often, do it. I think if you do both and you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. I will say it is really challenging for people to work out by themselves at home though. Yeah, yeah. I've had quite a few neighbors um, buy equipment because <laughs> they've seen our equipment in the garage and you know within a, a month they're, they're trying already to sell it to you. <laughs> trying to go to a gym or join a gym because yeah. yeah you know having the equipment there isn't enough. Yeah. And so whatever that accountability piece is whether it's just going to a class, class or looking at an app yeah, so you know, track what you're doing and yeah. find out what, what makes the most sense. And whatever gets you going more often, that's what you should do. Do us a favor, if you like this video, hit the like button and we'll see you on the next one.